been shocked a little bit. Oh my gosh, that was spectacular. I think I'm just as in awe as everybody out there in the crowd. I even looked at you at one point. and whip you around a little bit and uh, either make you puke or make you scream for joy. I'm ready for it either way. Here come the strike heels in a tactical formation. <laughs> that made it as light as possible. It was and just engine, the other, pilot, uh, all the gas they could put in it, and it okay, set record the record. Right, uh, Watch for the break as these two airplanes that are close together will set up for landing, and uh, I think we'll see them do the break here. I want you to keep your eyes on the sky because we're going to welcome four airplanes to get things started. They are airplanes, well, three of them I see right now. Take a look. Directly overhead. Airplanes that have carried the heritage of one of the most widely produced trainers in the history of aviation if not the most widely produced. The feel good moments in the C-47 flying for the really? CBI and from 1943 to 1945. Wow, now I was not aware of that. That's good news. Well, Dick Cole, uh, rest his soul, was the final living Doolittle Raider who just passed away uh, just under three months ago. That was in April. Uh, he was 103 years old when he passed away. Thanks, Jeff Bush. So, so if people want to get a ride, where do they go to sign up for go rides? Go to the north end of the main ramp by information booth number one. We have three tents there. Uh, the C-47, we're putting together a ride at 4.30. The Baco uh, rides will be available. Hockey, as you said, the speed. The, not only the puck, but the speed of the game in general. It's definitely one of the fastest sports. There's always something happening. And one thing that I had to learn to keep up with was actually watching the puck and making sure that I knew where it was going and learning the anticipation. So I, was, I love learning new things, and that's part of the reason I'm out here. So learning the, the ropes of this. But hockey's definitely just an action-filled game. So 60 minutes of straight action the entire time. Well, well, we'll keep it moving for you. As the Texans that are going by, lead aircraft is Rachel Ferguson and Andrew Cyborg Adrana, Adra uh, Andraka, I should say. As I mentioned, Jim Tortobel. That's the first F-4 new Corsair we'll see today shortly. As we see overhead, the three Texan twos are coming by again. What are you guys gonna do? I got the company up here, uh, free breaking. What are you guys gonna do now? They're doing a break. I'm a man. Okay, I need for you to spin around, spin around. Uh, I got traps departing off to the left. I need for you to spin around. Enter initial runway 23. Now we're just uh, working things out. To uh, get these Texans on the ground and continue. The second phase 22,000. But. The historian for North American Aviation, who has written two books on the subject, says we'll never know. So we'll go with somewhere around 15,000. But that name, Texan, was passed on to these three aircraft coming in from Vance Air Force Base in Oklahoma. How about a nice round of applause for them? And anyway, we get a short straight in right there, Want to straight into runway 23 left? Can we get a mile straight in? Straight in, it's approved. Straight in, approved. Runway 23 left. Your captain's coming up over the numbers now. Straight in, 23 left. Launch, captain. 
It will be amazing to be able to... There's a jet on the west ramp, uh, they have an IFR flight plan. Flight. I know that there's a TFR in effect. I'm wondering if there's any time where there's a break Beach long Texas enough where they could depart right uh, before 11.30. With the consolidation of the aerospace industry, names change, but they used to call it the Beechcraft T-62. I can probably get them out right after the, uh, when the, about 11 o'clock, if they want to do that, when the A-10 comes in. Okay, uh, I'll uh, tell them to try for 11 o'clock. And, and then there's a Huey Cobra, also built by Bell, but it was the first helicopter ever built from the skids up to be an attack helicopter. And those rides are more expensive, depend on the length of the ride, but if you want to get into one of those, uh, you can go back there and there's a, there's a back at the, uh, I guess the far end of the field, back where the helicopters are, you'll see a booth and you can sign up for one of those rides. Scooter, you line up and wait when you like to, I'll let you know when they're clear. Now, as we bring these two, three uh, Texans back in and uh, they clear the runway. Once you're cleared inbound. All right, ladies and gentlemen. And right back forward five, all the way to the end. We're going to be bringing in. We've got an incoming plane, and I have to give him presence. Ladies and gentlemen, high and to the right, take a look at one of the most potent airplanes ever built. Rockets, bombs, missiles. This is the A-10 Thunderbolt 2. 47, clear to 3 left. 47, line up away from 5 left. Line up away from 5 left, 247. Hold one all the way to the end, be a left turn on Bravo taxiway all the way around. Down to the end, then left turn down there. 